Hi guys, another rubber band powered car. Also a test for my uh, repaired 3D printer. And that all appears to have printed okay, which is good. I'll go downstairs and I'll show you what this is all about. So what are we up to this time? Well, as I say, rubber band powered car. I spotted this at the side of the road the other day. It's part of a fishing rod. I would guess somebody probably had a fishing rod strapped on their roof rack or something. And it came off got smashed up in the road, and this is what was left. So we got two eyes, and it was obviously an extending fishing rod. So we don't need that bit, or at least not for this. That bit has to slide off that way. Well, I've already loosened that eye so I can get it off, and we're left with a rather nice piece of rod or tube. I don't know if it's carbon fiber. It feels very stiff. It doesn't feel like plastic and it doesn't feel like fiberglass. So it might be carbon fiber. So what we have here is a couple of uh, brackets, whatever you want to call them. So we can put axles and wheels on it. Very similar to this one I did a while back to put wheels on a cardboard tube. But obviously that's a different diameter. So I've printed something very similar. I might try and use these wheels. I don't normally use wheels this small, but they are rubber or rubberized. So they should have a reasonable grip. So we'll see if I can put them in there. Depends if that axle is the right thickness to go through the holes that I've allowed. So I'll stick it together and see if it works. Well, sometimes life just wants to be a little bit awkward. The axles on those wheels are just a little bit thicker than I had in mind. I wanted to use bicycle spoke axles and these are about another half a millimeter thicker. I think these are two and a half and those are two. So they were a bit too tight. So I've just grabbed these off of another car that was laying on the table. And the same at this end. Ignore the fact they're rather nice looking. They were designed for something completely different. Um, but they do have bicycle spokes as axles, so they all fit. Uh, I put that little T-shape on the front there so I could hook the rubber band on. Other end, over the back axle, wrap it round so it goes over itself. So it'll actually grip. And then you can wind it up. And away we go. So we'll stick the camera down the other end of the kitchen, see if we can hit it. Well, that works. Wasn't quite what I had in mind because I had to change the wheels. But we made use of the fishing pole fishing rod. You might notice I'm running it that way up. Makes it easier to put the rubber band on the back axle. So you just bring it down the back over the top and you just wrap it around the top of the axle. Whereas if you're trying to do it that way up it's quite awkward to get your fingers in there. So that way up works fine. That'll do for the thumbnail. And for those that are interested, 
my uh, 3D printer is now working again. Successful print.